Okay, just gotta breathe. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of That Manga Dude. Uh, today I'm gonna be going over my weekly manga haul. Um, I got a variety of books from across multiple publishers. I'm gonna try to go into detail with the manga that I've been mostly reading and then try to kind of give like the reasons why I got some of the other manga that I may have purchased. So let's go. So the first volume that I picked up, or the first one that I'm going to be showing is one that's actually a Japanese manga volume. This one is called Hanabaro, the badminton play of Ayano Hanasaki by Kosuke Hamada. Um, this is actually a really entertaining badminton manga. Um, I really enjoyed the anime, so I was been looking for the manga volumes. Obviously, it's a little bit harder here in the US to try pick up Japanese volumes, but I managed to find one at a used bookstore for a pretty good price. Um, and I love the cover. I mean, like, look at this. Something about how reflective covers and like slip covers are on Japanese manga. I really wish it was more common in the US, but what can you do? What can you do? All right, next pickup I got is uh, actually a rom-com from what I can tell. It's uh, This is called Kimagume, or Kimagure Orange Road from Izumi Matsumoto. Uh, this is a huge manga volume. I mean, like, look at this thing. A big, big manga volume. I believe it is produced or published by Platinum Manga, uh, which I, it's by DMP, not sure what that means. Um, and it looks like it was funded with Kickstarter, so that's actually really cool. Um, but I know this is like a really beloved uh, series, especially with the anime here in the US. But it is a little older, and for the price that I got it for, I definitely was going to pick it up. Because typically it looks like it's um, a little bit pricier than <laughs> what I picked it up for. But it uh, looks like a really fun time, so I hope I enjoy it. Alright, so this next one is actually a full series that I picked up uh, all at the same time. But it's a series called Hikatsu, uh, Strike a Bow to Vivify. So, for what I know about it is that there's, this is the main character here. His name is Shota. Um, he is trying to learn how to fix anything with one hit. Um, it's honestly a really goofy manga. I kind of like it. The, I like the line art and the line style here. Um, so I have all three volumes here. Made by a guy named Yu Yagami, and it's produced by Go Kami. So excited to read the rest of the series. I read the first volume. It's pretty good. Uh, like nothing super special, I would say. But it's a fun time. It's a fun read. So I uh, hope I keep enjoying it. All right, now for my Kadansha pickups. So first I picked up Animal Land, volume one. This is by Makoto Raiku, same person who made Zatch Bell. Um, I love Zatch Bell as a kid and I still love it as an adult. This series looks really goofy, just like Zatch Bell does. So hopefully it's just as entertaining. Uh, really excited to read it. And also from Kadansha, picked up Boys Run the Riot, volume two. Has a really nice uh, <laughs> glare to it. But this series, if you haven't heard of it, it's fantastic. It's about this character here, who's a transgender teen struggling with like identity, trying to um, be who they want to be, but is like kind of stuck with like gender roles and how Japan feels about it. But ends up meeting this character here, who's kind of like a delinquent, uh, you know, doesn't really go to school, uh, doesn't really understand or like whatever. But they end up creating a fashion brand together and it's really interesting, it's really cool. Uh, it's written by a transgender artist, so that's super awesome. Uh, really excited to read this next volume because I've read the first one. And uh, yeah, excited to see where it goes. All right, time for my Yen Press pickups. So, actually really excited to pick this up, but this is A Bride Story, Volume 6, uh, by Kaoru Mori. This series is fantastic. So it's about this character here, her name is Amir. Uh, she is um, selected to be married to a younger man uh, by the name of Karluk. Um, but it's done in a really tasteful way. Um, it, I think it builds the story extremely well. I think Kaori Mori really knocked it out of the park with this. Uh, definitely a fantastic slice of life uh, manga. Really, really been enjoying it. The visuals are gorgeous. I, I, let, me, let me just open up real quick just to give you an idea of like how detailed some of their clothing is. Like, look at this absolutely wonderful it's gorgeous stuff i love 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 this series and i'm super excited to keep collecting more uh, i really hope i can find the next volume soon and after that we got two volumes of the same series this one is silver spoon by hiromu arakawa which if you couldn't tell is by is the creator of full metal alchemist 
This is her second series, I believe, that's been uh, published here that where she's done both the story and the art alone. Uh, this is more of a slice of life um, manga, obviously, in comparison to Full Metal Alchemist. But it's about our main character here. His name is Hachi, uh, Hachiken. He is like a really smart bookworm who ends up going to an agricultural school to like kind of just change up his life to see where he wants to go. Um, and it leads to a lot of fun antics and honestly like really educational about like farming in general. Um, been really, really enjoying this series. I don't typically like Slice of Life, so it's been really good to kind of have like that nice change of pace. Um, really excited to see where the story goes. All right, time for the biggest part of this entire video. Or at least I think it's gonna be. These are gonna be all of the Viz Media releases that I've picked up for the past week, which is um, a lot to say the least. So I'm gonna start with the first series here. This is Law of Ueki. Uh, Ueki, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's written and uh, the art is by Subasa Fukuchi. It is about this kid here. His name is Ueki. He has been selected to participate in this like huge tournament where uh, people called Celestials come down and like select a high school student to basically fight for them. And whoever wins, um, the Celestial becomes king. So he's given some powers and his powers are basically to be able to create trees out of trash. It's a really weird premise, but honestly, like it's super fun. The main character is a little bonkers uh, <laughs> and kind of like deadpan, but honestly, it's like really enjoyable. I've been having a great time with it. And I picked up first the first volume and the second volume here. Um, really cool. Uh, really hope to find the third volume soon. After that, got gotta pick it up because I own basically every uh, every part of the franchise. But picked up the first volume of Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess um, by Akira Himekawa. This is actually one of my favorite Zelda games, and um, it's been kind of surprising that I didn't pick up the manga um, recently. But this was like a fantastic, pristine condition. Um, the art's always great. I think Akira Himakawa really mocks it out of the park, especially when it comes to Zelda stuff. So really excited to collect this one. Uh, yeah. Next after that, we have this absolutely bright and colorful <laughs> cover here. Uh, it's called Zom 100, uh, Bucket List of the Dead. It's stories by Haro Aso and the art is by Kotaro Takata. So this series, uh, what I know of it is it's written by the same guy who did a series called Hide and Closer, which I really have been enjoying. Uh, haven't picked up a couple of volumes in a while, but the story artist is also the same person who did Alice in Borderland, which uh, a Netflix series just re or recently came out, I think within the past two years. That was really fun and really interesting. So excited to read this one. Hopefully it's as good as the other two. Um, yeah, excited. And now time for the Shonen Jump releases, which is more than you'd expect. <laughs> but first is the last volume of Demon Slayer, volume 23, story and art by Koyoharo Gotoge. I think that's how you say their name. Um, this series, I, I've i been enjoying for the most part. I think the art's really great. Um, I like the characters for the most part. Um, I read actually read this recently, uh, this last volume, uh, and I have my opinions about it but i think that will so i'll save it for another another episode or another video but yeah it was really cool to finally finish off this series now that i have all 23 volumes all together in the bookcase next up is a series that i actually is near and dear to me and i'm super happy to finally get the last two volumes that i needed but that is muyo and roji's bureau of supernatural investigation uh, volume 15 and volume 18, which is the last volume. These, this series is absolutely bonkers. It's about this guy here, his name is Muyo, and this blonde kid here, his name is Jiro, but he goes by Roji. Um, and it's basically like they go around the world or they go around like the place trying to exercise demons or exercise ghosts who are, who've been in the world for too long for a variety of reasons, but, um, it's super interesting. The art is very unique, as you can see just from the covers. Like, it's not your typical manga art style, but I love it. I've been enjoying reading it and finally getting volume 15 and 18. Excited to be able to finish it off. And the anime just recently came out too, which you should check out. 
All right. Now, another big series that I feel like everyone everyone basically knows, but I got One Punch Man Volume 9, stories by One, and the art is by Yusuke Murata. Uh, well, if you don't already know what the series is, it's about uh, our favorite bald man, Saitama, who basically has the ability to beat everybody with one punch. Um, you know, kind of similar to Hikatsu in that way, which is kind of weird to say, but uh, it's really fun. Um, I'm not like super keen on the story per se, but the art is fantastic. Yusuke Murata always kills it in terms of like his art. Uh, if you haven't read Ice Shield 21, I highly suggest reading it because it's by the same artist. Um, yeah, it's a good time. If you want just like a fun romp where like nice mix of comedy and action, this is the series for you. All right, another one that just finished up, another series that I've been really enjoying. Uh, that is The Promised Neverland. This is volume 20. This is gonna be the last volume that's gonna be coming out. Um, kind of sad for it to end, but this has been probably one of my favorite series that's been coming out over the past 10 years. Um, it's about characters Emma, Norman, and Ray. Uh, these three are like the main characters of the series, but basically the premise is, is that they're all living in a world at this orphanage, uh, run by uh, a nice lady or supposedly a nice lady, but you come to find out that they're all being made for food and it's about their journey of escaping and then attempting to escape the world that they've uh, been placed in. So uh, I love it. I've been enjoying every every volume that I've gotten. Uh, I've heard the anime isn't as good, so you know, take that as you will. I haven't watched it, but the manga is definitely, I would say, the way to go. Uh, and this volume cover is gorgeous. I love it. It's got all the characters that you come to know and love from the series. So excited to read this and finish off the series. And the last but not least, uh, just picked this up yesterday, actually. So this is Tagami Bachi Volume 14. These, this series is uh, Story and Arts by Hiroyuki Asada. Um, I think this series is gorgeous. This is probably one of the prettiest manga that I own uh, in terms of like the way they use black and white um, and just like kind of everything. I can kind of flip through it just to give you an idea. But I think the style is really great. Um, I think the premise is super cool. It's about this kid here. His name is Lag Seeing. He is uh, basically bookmarked as like a package to be delivered to somewhere. Um, so he gets picked up by a letter B, which is basically like the USPS of this world. Uh, and he travels with this guy. And once he gets delivered, he's like, I want to become a letter B just like my, uh, just like the guy who delivered me. So he ends up becoming that. Um, and it's a really interesting series. There's a lot of mystery to it. Um, as I said, the art's gorgeous. So I highly suggest reading it if you can get your hands on it. Uh, it is, I think, 20 volumes. So it's not super long. Um, and it's a great read. So yeah, definitely check it out. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, it was really fun to kind of go over everything that I picked up. Uh, definitely very nervous. And uh, thank you for, uh, you know, sticking around. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.